Hello everyone. Welcome to our today's online class. Hope you are all fine and fit. And I am sure that you are revising your lessons also. Isn't it? In the last class, we have learnt about common and proper nouns. In this class, we will learn about nouns that are, can name one thing or more things, which is singular and plural nouns or one and many. Here. Now children, there are nouns which mean one person, place, animal or thing. The noun meaning one is called singular noun. Here, singular. There are nouns which mean more than one person, place, animal or thing. The noun meaning more than one is called plural. Here. Now let me explain you with the help of some examples. Number one, I'm writing here one pen, another I'm writing one dog. This is a singular form. Another can be one tree. Okay. Now, to make it plural, we are adding only one S with it. So, here it comes to pens. Clear? Here, uh, it can be any number. I am writing three over here. Three dogs. Here. Now, the, this one can be many. It's also plural, the word many, many trees. Okay. Now the first form, pen, dog, tree, tells us that only one of the same kind of person or thing is meant. Here, the first form means the singular or one column. The second form means the plural or many column. That is pens, dogs, trees, etc. They tell us uh, that more than one of the same kind of thing or person is meant. These examples make it clear that most nouns have two forms. Now different nouns have different ways of changing their forms to show number. We shall now look at a few of the ways in uh, which this change is made. The forms that mean more than one have been placed under the column plural or many. So if we use these numbers like two, five, 20 etc with a noun that noun will obviously come under plural or many now in some nouns we add an s to show that we mean more than one like here children see only one s is added here to make it plural Clear? Yeah. See here, pens, we have added one S with dogs, it, uh, it becomes uh, dogs, uh, tree, it becomes trees. Only one S is added. So we add ES to some nouns that end in O, SH, uh, X, S or CH to make them plural. For example, 
I can write here. The word ending with O can be as potato. It is ending with O. Yeah. The fifth word was with SH. Yes. This The word brush ends with SH. And the sixth word. Uh, the word ending with X can be box. And the word ending with S can be as dress. And another word ending with CH can be bench. Yes. So to make it plural, we are adding one ES with it. Because the word is ending with O here. The rule is applicable here. You have to add one ES. The second one becomes brushes to make it plural. The third one here, it was box, so it will become boxes. And here the seventh one was dress becomes dresses. So we are adding ES with it. Your will become benches. Yes. Okay. Now here to make it clear. See here I have added one ES. Here also ES. To make plural. Now we add V-E-S to some nouns uh, that end in F or F-E to make them plural. Like uh, for uh, examples I'll give later. And you always remember that F and F-E is dropped from the plural. For examples, here the word ending with F the same can be Leaf, you all know it's a leaf. The tenth word, uh, the word ending with FE can be as knife. So, to make it plural, we are dropping the F. Children, see, we have dropped the F over here and we have added here VES. The same case here. The word ending with F-E, here also it become knives. So we are dropping the F uh, and uh, we are replacing here the uh, F and we are adding V-E-S. Here. here for this rule, uh, for F and F-E, we have done V-E-S to make it plural. Now, if a noun ends in Y, we make its plural by changing Y to I and then adding ES to the singular form. For examples, see here the word ending with Y can be fairy. You all know, you have read in the Adventure stories. The word ending with Y. Puppy. Yes. Baby dog. Uh, to make it plural, we are just replacing Y into I. And then ES. So what it becomes? It becomes fairies. Clear children? And here... Yes, it will become puppies. So we are replacing the Y and we are writing I instead of Y and we are adding this ES. Okay. You 
cannot understand this, you will just zoom it and see later on. So some nouns do not follow any rule when changing from singular to plural. For example, here, you can write here, like for man. Now these type of words, they don't fall, follow any kind of rule. It becomes men, you know, one man, two men, another can be foot will become feet. Yes, you have to remember some words. They don't actually follow any rule. So they are quite different. Okay. Now children, note that the form of the nouns like sheep, and dear etc they remain the same whether we mean one or many sheep or deer we say one sheep two sheep one deer many deer we never say or write sheeps or deers like here i'm writing those words here you remember for sheep the word sheep and the next uh, deer and many other words you have you'll learn in your later classes. Uh, another word hair, hair. Hair you cannot count here. So it's uncountable noun. These type of nouns uh, uh, while plural they don't change. They remain the same. Okay. I'm writing here. They remain same. They don't change. So children, today we have discussed about singular and plural or one and many. And there are different rules. So uh, children, have you understood the chapter? And I hope you have uh, downloaded or seen the worksheets for the previous classes. You will be getting worksheets of this class on coming Saturday. In the next video, I will be back with a new chapter. So till then, stay home, stay safe and stay connected. Thank you children. Bye bye. See you in the next class.